2023 is going to be a brilliant year for ODI cricket. Not only do we have the World Cup this year, but the World Cup is in India. And it's always a special, special celebration when the World Cups are happening in India and they're held in a country which is so obsessed with cricket. So as we go into the World Cup, in this video, we're going to evaluate who the best active ODI bowler is in the world. So what we're going to do is we're going to take an evaluation criteria of these four and split them across 50 points and see who scores the most. So total wickets taken is for 10 points. Economy is for 15 points. The reason economy is more is because economy is now everything when it comes to ODI cricket. Five wicket hauls are 10 points and bowling average, which means number of runs conceded per wicket is also 15 points. The reason this and economy is 15 is because now it's all about how many runs can we give, how many wickets we can take. It's not a lot more about anything else in ODI bowling. So there we go. First up, we're going to evaluate Trent Bolt. Trent Bolt is, of course, an international cricketer who plays for New Zealand. He's a brilliant left-arm, fast-medium bowler. He swings both ways. And of course, he's also featured a lot and very heavily in the Indian Premier League. Now, jumping on to his evaluation parameters. Number one, total number of wickets taken. Well, Trent Bolt has taken 187 wickets in ODIs as we speak. And that gives him about 6 out of 10 points. Of course, he has a career left in him. But at the moment, 187 is nowhere close to the top in the world. So, 6 out of 10 points. Number two parameter is economy. Trent Bolt's economy is 4.93. Now, that is absolutely brilliant. In an era where one-day international means scoring over 300 runs almost every second game, an average or an economy below 5 is just absolutely brilliant. So I will give Trent 14 out of 15 points on this one. The third one is 5 wicket hauls. The thing with 5 wicket hauls is it just shows that once you're in a dominant form, you can continue to dominate in that game. So Trent has taken 5 5 wicket hauls in his career and I'll also give him 5 out of 10 points here. And the last one is bowling average. His bowling average is 23.98, so almost 24, which means that every time he takes a wicket, he concedes 24 runs. That's a pretty healthy average. So I give him 11 points there. So all in all, if you total his points, he gets 36 out of 50. And that's a very healthy point average. Next up, we talk about Mitchell Stark. Mitchell Stark is the tall, lanky Australian international bowler. He also plays for New South Wales. He's, of course, left arm really, really fast and he bats right-handed. Now, coming on to his evaluation parameters. Number one, his total wickets taken. He's taken a total of 211 wickets in ODIs. That gives him 7 out of 10 points. Of course, that's better than Trent, but again, nowhere close to the world best. Second, his economy. His economy is 5.09, a little over 5. That's still a very, very solid economy when it comes to ODIs. So I give him 12 points there out of 15. With regards to five wicket hauls, Mitchell has done better than Trent. He has eight five wicket hauls and I give him seven out of 10 points there. And finally, bowling average. Mitchell's bowling average is 22.13, which earns him 12 out of 15 points. To total it all up, that is 38 points, two more than Trent Bolt. And right now, Mitchell Stark is in the lead. Next up, we talk about Rashid Khan. He's one of my favorite cricketers of all time. Rashid is an Afghan international. He's the former captain of the national team. Very, very, very prominent player in the Indian Premier League. He bowls right-handed. He's, of course, a spinner. And he also is very handy when it comes to batting. Let's evaluate his bowling now. So, on the first parameter, total wickets taken. Rashid has taken a total of 163 wickets. Now, he's come in an era where T20 has been far more prominent. But again, 163 will only earn him 6 out of 10 points. The second parameter is economy. Rashid's economy is 4.17. Believe it or not, 4.17. Even in the 90s or early 2000s, a bowler with that kind of economy would be super proud. Let alone how the format has evolved over the years and how it's all about aggressive batting. So I give him a perfect score there. I give him 15 points when it comes to economy. The next parameter is five wicket hauls. He has four five wicket hauls and just like Trent, I give him five points there. And lastly, the bowling average. His bowling average is 18.55. So he just concedes 18 odd runs every time he picks a wicket. That's also flawless. I give him a perfect score there, another 15. 
So the total score for Rashid Khan is 41 points and he's definitely up there. And lastly, we evaluate Jaspreet Bumrah. Jaspreet is of course an Indian international cricketer. He's a prominent feature in the Mumbai Indian team. He also plays in all formats of the game. He's really, really fast and also the legend when it comes to Indian fast bowling. Let's evaluate him across parameters. Number one, total wickets taken. Jaspreet has taken 121 wickets, which is fairly low when it comes to ODI cricket. So I give him four points there out of 10. Jaspreet's economy is 4.64. Again, brilliant economy. Anything less than five and that to so much less than five is just brilliant. So I give him 14 out of 15 points there. With regards to five wicket hauls, Jaspreet has only had two five wicket hauls. I suspect he's going to have many more in the future. But at the moment, that earns him four out of 10 points. And finally, bowling average. His average is 24.31 here, which earns him 11 out of 15 points. That's a total of 33 points for Jaspreet Bumrah. So there you have it. We evaluated across different bowlers. And Rashid Khan is, in my opinion, the absolute best current ODI bowler in the world. I'm super excited to see him play more and more in IPL, more and more in ODI cricket and international cricket. He's just such a brilliant ambassador of the sport. Hail to Rashid Khan. Brilliant Rashid. So if you love this video, consider subscribing to my channel. If you enjoyed it, I will settle for a like. Also consider subscribing to my Instagram page, BS with BS. Ciao everyone.